Turbo was Power Rangers' first season that was a dud. It came down to two issues, switching up the cast and Car Ranger. Car Ranger was Sentai's season that wanted to go in a fun direction. They came off Old Ranger, it had lots of issues behind the scenes, it was overall a more serious season. So now, PR is stuck with it. They reshot as much as they could, but they still had to keep a lot of it, mainly when it came to the bad guys. Power Rangers has to work within the framework of Sentai's footage. They could change things, but have to fall back on stuff when needed. So Divatox, Elgar, Rygog, and the rest are pretty much copying their counterparts. This is not a slight to Hilary Shepard Turner and Carol Hoyt. I knew Turner from Star Trek. They casted someone who could do this role. The character is the problem and the show is the problem. When you watch Diva Tox's gang and when you watch the Power Rangers, they feel like they're in two different shows. This is one of those examples when Sentai screws PR, where you wish they didn't have to adapt the footage. So in this rewrite, this is going to focus on fixing Diva Talks. At the same time, I have to also act like the show's writer and work within the confines of Car Ranger's footage. I want to remind everyone, there are episodes I do like. The episode that first featured Diva Talks, the Millennium Message, the finale, as her background that they ended up cutting, which was based off a Car Ranger storyline. I also want to keep the writers want to make her a character because Rita, Zed, and the Machine Empire are primarily only villains. They try to do something with her. The first thing I need to change is the movie. The entire background of Diva Talks has to go. What will happen now is the intended fight between Rita, Zed, and the Machine Empire where everyone gets killed off. This way, it's a clean slate. It also prevents Diva Talks and Rita knowing each other, fixing issues like her not knowing where the power chamber is. I'm also removing Larigo. I'm going to have Divatox cause the loss of the Zeo powers. We get introduced to Divatox as she conquers various planets where she sends out Elgar, Rygog, and Porto as her generals. What we find out is that Divatox has a Zeo-like crystal herself, a large staff made from the crystal material. This is how she's able to travel great distances and take over planets. She's cold, rootless, a mixture of season one Goldar and Scorpina. She's the one who kills off Rita and the others when she arrives at Earth. Her goal is to take the Zeo Crystals back. When Divatox finally meets the Zeo Rangers, she tells them that she's the owner of the crystals. The Rangers, not knowing what to do, escape and return to the power chamber. This is a major mistake. No matter where they go, she can follow them. Soon, finding the power chamber, she invades and pulls the Zeo energy out of their suits, destroying their Zeonizers. She then goes after Zordon because he's the one who turned the crystals into Power Ranger powers. Zordon is badly injured, forcing him to return to Eltar. This is where the Demetria Divatox plotline starts. Before the rangers are killed, along with Zordon, Demetria appears. She stops Divatox's killing blow and escapes with them. Demetria thanks the rangers for protecting the Zeo Crystals and is sorry about them losing their powers. Demetria tells them she's from the world that created the Zeo Crystals and came to Earth. Demetria has great power but cannot be in a solid form for long, so she helps Zordon return back to Eltar along with Alpha who was badly damaged in the fight. While Divatox possesses all the crystals, she found they were drained of energy. Demetria remains on Earth to work with the Rangers. She's the one who gives them new powers. The Rangers are surprised that she can just hand them powers from thin air. Adam even asks, could she restore their old MMPR powers? She sadly says, I cannot restore what I did not create but I can give you new powers that honor your powers that came of past, from ancient animals of your world to your modern age of technology. So Turbo is now set up. It's a race to stop Divatox from figuring out the Zeo Crystals. With them refilming as much as Car Ranger as they did, I'm gonna change Rygog and the others to be more serious. Have them around the same range as the Generals from Lost Galaxy, Elgar being kept closer to his Japanese counterpart. He would be Divatox's personal bodyguard. They would not be related anymore. Also, General Havoc would be brought in at the start to round off the generals. Other changes would go to Blue Centurion. I'm removing the Millennium Message subplot since it really wasn't useful to Turbo. Instead, Blue Centurion is going to lose his memory to set up a secret that will happen later on. At first, I wanted to remove the team change, but this is about Divatox, so that will be kept. 
However, the reasons won't be because they want to move on with their lives. It will be found out later that the way the Zeo crystals were taken from them is causing problems with their new powers, similar to what happened with Jason. So the original team is forced to retire being Power Rangers, but I would make sure that the entire new team would be built up as the season progresses. Justin and the Blue Centurion would become friends. This would be based off a storyline from Car Ranger, except it would be Justin wanting to recover his lost memories. This would be used as a reason BS goes crazy in the later episodes, as well as modify the Robot Ranger episode to include BS as this being an idea he came up with. Obviously, most of the comedy would be dropped. That doesn't mean completely lose it. There would be some monsters that I would keep as stupid episodes. I would definitely want to do one episode that uses the footage of a monster growing from a Myokan. The pizza one also comes to mind since I would want to keep the entire episode where Divatox loses her memory as is. At the midpoint of Turbo, we would start getting hints and odd issues with Divatox and Demetria, along with General Havoc, start entering the main story. Turbo poorly used his character, so I want to rework him and combine him with Exhaust, the final boss from Car Ranger. The biggest moment would be five episodes before the season finale. After Justin has been trying for months to get BS's memories back, and after he felt guilty corrupting BS's memory, turning him evil, he called for some old help. Alpha 5. In my rewrite, there's no Alpha 6. I want to give more things for Blue Centurion to do, so I would have him act as his replacement. Through the episode, Alpha would be trying to figure out why Blue Centurion lost his memories in the first place. He eventually figures out when he entered Earth's solar system, a high energy pulse disrupted his body. It's the same energy pulse that happened when Diva Tox took the Zeo crystals. When she did that, it caused a release of energy from the morphing grid, severing the Zeo powers from the crystals. When Alpha's scanning Blue Centurion for the remnants of the crystals, he starts picking up the Zeo crystal signature inside the power chamber. Justin, Blue Centurion, and Alpha eventually figure out what's causing it. It's Demetria herself. Alpha and the others start asking Demetria about her home world. She describes her home, then they ask, how did you get to Earth in the first place? There was no ship, you just appeared right before Divatox killed us. She just remembers, I have to protect the Rangers. Everyone slowly puts it together. Demetria is the physical being of the out of power Zeo Crystals. I want to pay off Turbo's drop storyline of Divatox and Demetria being sisters, but also explain where the Zeo crystals came from. Why are they unique? Why were they so easy to create Ranger powers from? As well as give Blue Centurion a better backstory than just some random alien robot cop guy. Centurion's story is that he's a part of a police organization that protects the Zeo Crystal homeworld. General Havoc, who is really exhaust from Car Ranger, stumbled on a planet that had life forms that were from crystals. They were a part of a big chain. Think the Borg or Changelings from Star Trek. He invaded this planet because they have a high connection to the morphing grid. He blasted a section of crystal away, splitting it into multiple parts. As he attempted to steal them, Blue Centurion's people came in, he was only able to grab a portion of it, while the other half disappeared into space. What he found was these crystals could form a humanoid appearance, but they have no memory. Their memories are a part of the chain, so he created Divatox. When the Zeo crystals got absorbed into Divatox, this forced the other half to come out to prevent evil from taking the power. The Turbo Ranger powers are actually the Zeo powers, but due to the crystals' direct connection being lost and Demetria being low on energy, they aren't as powerful, and due to the prolonged connection of the crystals, Divatox's absorption caused the last team's problem. They're actually slowly dying. I want to build up the stakes really high, as well as incorporate the final arc done in Car Rager, plus still retain the turbo finale of losing their powers. Basically, as the conclusion of the story, Exhaust would reveal himself where Divatox would eventually find out the truth. Betraying Exhaust. Because Elgar is loyal to Divatox, he would turn, in return force Rygog and Porto to the good side. After they stop Exhaust with an original Megazord fight, the Ranger powers would be lost due to Divatox and Dimitri using up their remaining energy. Their only hope is to return to their home world. With the Rangers being mixed up in this story, this is where Zordon would be captured, Alpha 5 would rejoin the team, Blue Centurion would leave and return the Zeo crystals back to their home, and the Rangers would head into space to rescue Zordon. I did take some bits of story from other PR seasons, obviously, but Turbo did do some high concept episodes, so I think they could come up with this storyline. 
I always had this idea when I was 12, Demetria wore white, the Zeo crystals were white, maybe they're gonna make her be the crystals. I really wanted to fix the biggest issues. No plot for Blue Centurion, Diva Talks and Demetria plot being dropped, the unbalanced comedy, no explanation to the power change, along with the garbage team change. I do admit it's not a great story, but I want to stay within the confines of Car Rangers footage. Not to mention get rid of Alpha 6. Fixing Justin in the process, it was a no-brainer for Justin and Blue Centurion to be paired together. I don't get why they avoided Blue Centurion so much. Probably because of the complicated nature of them adapting Car Ranger and all the other stuff, like Bulk and Skull's actors temporarily leaving the show. It was too much for the writers, so they had to cut the fat. But tell me how you feel with my changes. Does it work? Do you like the idea of the crystals being alive? Or do you prefer the Zeo crystals never being explained? Thanks again for watching. If you have a suggestion or topic you'd like me to make, leave a comment down below and I may use it next time.